our role within the Office of Inspector General is to oversee all the programs of the Small Business Administration to make sure that they are running efficiently, productively, and that they have integrity in their programs and are free from fraud, waste, and abuse. What, what continuous quality means to, to our agency is a constant and intentional approach to improving because of the, the rapidly changing environment that we find ourselves in. In our role as, as, as oversight professionals, we have to be at the cutting edge of where the technology is in terms of data analytics, in terms of cybersecurity, in terms of how lenders are providing services to the program, in terms of how contractor, contracting is being let. So it's important for us that we are at the crux of constantly improving. That's why we've interwoven continuous improvement into our training programs so that we have a, a, an educated, proficient, and professional workforce. When I first came in to the Office of Inspector General about three years ago, we had certain issues that were causing problems internally. So what I did was I met with senior staff members, met with employees, and we decided let's do an internal um, survey. Let's find out, but let's have, let's pull together a team of employees, which we call the Employee Engagement Council, and let them develop the questions. But let the questions be in alignment with some of the questions that have been asked years ago on another internal survey that had been done, and also fall in alignment with the Federal Employee Viewpoint Survey. So we were able to gather data from that that allowed us to see where our shortcomings were and where we needed to, sp to pay close attention to, but building it all in alignment from the ground up. We were inspired to, to uh, submit our nomination for, for the Deming Award um, because uh, we, we started seeing the results. Um, you know, we, we, as Mr. Ware said, we were very deliberate in our, in our approach. We, we had our strategic plan, we put in place the training programs, but then we started seeing the engagement increasing. We saw the workforce coming alive, becoming more vibrant. Um, and the, the proof was in the results when the Federal Viewpoint Survey, where we went <clears throat> from in the 60s to the 84% engagement in, in the organization. When we started out, we were one of the worst places to work in government. We were awarded last year as being one of the best places to work in government. So that transformation, which by the way, the Office of Human Services, Human Services said, um, they had to triple check the numbers to make sure they were accurate because they had not seen such huge jumps. We had some, in some areas, we had 40 point jumps over a, just over a, a two year period. The Deming Institute and the, the, the Grad School USA provides a platform for government agencies to show that you can learn from government agencies as well. There are a bunch of us that are doing real innovative work and that's across the community. Some who didn't put in for the nomination, some who didn't get awarded today are doing spectacular work, but this provides a platform for us to engage. What the Deming Award means, you know, in terms of the office, you know, we, we have it as a, a strategic plan, and, and the vision of our strategic plan is to be the most effective OIG in the federal government. Um, as, as Mr. Ware was saying, there's a, there's a lot of ways to measure our success, our outcomes, employee engagement, but you know, what it really means to, to, to us as an office is our vision is coming into focus. Um, this validation, you know, through the Deming Award is, it means that what we're doing is, is we're on the right path and we're being very deliberate and we'll continue on this effort. The advice that I would give to other agencies who would, who would be considering um, submitting a nomination for the Deming Award would be that the work that we do across government is important and vital to the success of this country. And there are many of us who do an outstanding work and that message of the outstanding work needs to come out so that the entire public can see that we, are, we have very efficient organizations within government who are doing outstanding work on behalf of the people of the United States.